caving in there's um you know a feeling of being stuck and not being able to get out a lot of people kind of turning in and wanting to almost attack like it's volatile and um it's just kind of odd that it all kind of coming up at once with family with work with everything it's almost like trying to punch punching to try to get out of a hole and then just, there's no way out and i'm not quite sure what's going on right now yeah, so there's all the – that sounds like being compressed, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, and it actually feels heavy on my chest, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so and it's – the question is sometimes when we're in really weird spots like that, I think, too, we tend to ask the question of what's happening to me, where where am I, why is this happening? And sometimes that's the wrong question. In, in this case, I think trying to understand it at the moment, it's, it's, I think it is following the same rules as we talked about earlier, that the past 10 years are co finally coming to an end. And so you're in a place, you're in this in-between place where all of these Things that have happened over the past 10 years and built up, they're all starting to come to an end. There's going to be a big ending, and there'll be a new beginning. So your job at the moment isn't necessarily to understand why or how this is happening necessarily. It's actually to ask, uh, I welcoming, you need to do more than ask at this point, I think. So really welcoming. Welcoming the pressure. Welcome the discomfort in your chest. Literally sit there and say out loud to yourself, I welcome this discomfort in my chest. I welcome this discomfort into my life because it's helping me to shift through the density, the attachments to outcomes. I can't say that enough. The attachments to outcome have to go. That's really key. And it's really hard to do. We can still co-create a really great future for ourselves without being attached to the outcome. And how do you do that? Well, I think it takes practice, but you got to start with the little stuff first. So start with not being attached to how your day unfolds, not being attached to how job changes unfold, not being attached to how different sorts of big events that have happened in your life that are coming to a head, how those will unfold. And just keep welcoming the discomfort of the attachment to shift through because otherwise you're going to feel stuck and you're going to sit and ask why and you won't be able to make the moves you need to get out of the, the pressure, to get out of the denseness. Is so there something I'm supposed to be looking time. for? Is there something I'm looking for? looking for to know which direction to go in? Because amidst, amidst all this, there's opportunities that pop up that are surprising, yeah. and then I'm not sure if those are the right things to do, you know? Yes, you definitely want to be using your body in this case. So this is where the body is really handy when you have different opportunities and, and events show up while all this chaos and density is happening simultaneously. You're going to systematically check with your heart and your gut how that feels to imagine following through on that. And when you imagine it and you want to fall and you feel it, you feel into the heart, you feel into the gut, does it get you excited? Does it get you maybe a little bit scared too? That's okay. If it's getting you excited and a little bit scared because it's new, we all get, you know, a little scared when we face something new but you feel really good about it and it really opens you up and makes you feel more expansive and helps to stop the pressure and the condensing um, dense energies that are happening to you, then that's how you know you, you probably want to continue to put some eggs in that basket. 
And can we put eggs in that basket without being attached to outcome? Yes, that's the practice. That's what you're being forced to learn really fast here. So this is a big, huge piece that you must learn right now is how to put eggs in baskets without being attached to how they're going to hatch. So and is it okay to view yourself as separate and a bit alienated? Like, I mean, I have no choice. Every Everything and everyone around me just feels so different than they used to. You know, almost like I'm oh, walking yes, around that's in an true. alien world. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, so that's part of the detachment. Weirder. Yes. Right? <laughs> and and I, I want to point an, out something, too, that's really valuable. I had a session with someone recently, and we looked at this. There's a difference between detachment and non-attachment. Detachment is actually an, an outcome. So detachment happens when, let's say, you know, your family treats you like crap around Christmas, and you're like, fine, I am done. I'm detaching myself from you guys. Because this sucks, and kind of like Lucia said today, just walk away. There's <laughs> just walk away, be done, and uh, that's a big important piece for a lot of us. It's really hard to say, all right, well I'm taking a break, guys. Maybe I'll see you next year. Um, the that's detachment. That's what happens when your family's super dense and doesn't get you, and you start feeling alienated about it by their attitudes. Unattachment or non-attachment, non-attachment is a state of mind. So detachment is what happens after another event. It's an outcome. Non-attachment is a state of mind. Non-attachment is, hey, this job offer just came up. I feel really good about it when I'm looking at it. I have a little bit of fear around that, knowing that fear can often, from the heart, be an indicator that this is something new, not necessarily that you need to avoid it. But really noticing how your body feels when you're visualizing taking part in it. And then let's say the body says, yeah, that feels amazing. Let's do that. And then you put some eggs in that basket and you see what the outcome is. Maybe there is no outcome. But that's okay, because you know that there's going to be something new that will happen the next day because you're not attached. You're in a state of non-attachment. Does that make sense?